Hi everyone, Leftbridge Hurricanes trimmed their roster by two today. The team has reassigned 2012 Benham draft picks, defenseman Thomas Lenchishan and forward Zach Goberus to their midget teams. The Canes now have 28 players remaining on the roster. The next action for the team is tomorrow night when they host the Medicine Hat Tigers. Tickets for this game can be purchased through the Leftbridge Minor Hockey Association office or before the game at the northwest entrance of the NMAC Centre. Tickets are 10 bucks with children six and under getting in for free. Full proceeds from ticket sales tomorrow are going towards Lethbridge minor hockey. The Calgary Flames kicked off training camp today with their annual charity golf tournament. The tourney was played at Country Hills and the Hamptons this year in Calgary. It's always a good time and raising a ton of money for charity. I played in it last year. Now, one of the big storylines heading into training camp is who will be the starting goaltender now that we know Mika Kiprasov has retired officially. Last year's backup, Joey McDonald, is in the mix, and so is Kari Ramo, who put up some great numbers in the Continental Hockey League the last few seasons. The way I kind of, I just go into it like I do every single year. I don't want to put any more pressure on myself than what's there and, and uh, just go in and, and be myself, build on last year. You know what, last year I thought I had a great, uh, a great year coming in, getting thrown into the mix of things and things went really well. So you know what, build on that and uh, things will work out. Uh, obviously there is now, uh, there is no number one goalie now because uh, retired, but you know, it's it, it is it's gonna be a big battle between the goalies. But uh, for me, uh, it didn't really make difference if he would have played. I would have done everything same way if he would be here now. What makes it even more interesting is that talking to them, they don't want a spot on the team. They want the number one job. So like uh, I think that uh, you know like uh, we're gonna have some interesting decisions to make. And don't forget that European net miners Reto Barra and Yanni Ortu are also in the mix. Now the Flames will take their physicals tomorrow and then hit the ice on Thursday. The football, the Calgary Stampeders are in for a fight on Friday night. The Stamps at home to the Hamilton Tiger Cats and... Hoo-hum, John Cornish has won another CFL Player Award. Cornish is the Canadian of the week in the CFL after rushing for 131 yards, gaining 46 through the air and scoring a touchdown against the Edmonton Eskimos last Friday. This marks the third time this season Cornish has been named Canadian of the week. He's taken home the award an amazing 17 times already in his career. Well, being a Rough Riders fan is a lifelong experience. Daryl Rummel explains. If ever there were a role an actress was born to play, this would be it for Colleen Sutton. The best fans in the world have a game to prep for. A diehard fan for much of her life, she's more than playing a character, but reliving memories, telling stories about her journey as a Ryder fan. And even though you struggle, open your eyes! Cheering for them makes me feel so good. This is sad. <laughs> The play is called What Sutton Is, Rider Girl, giving audiences a glimpse of life as a die-hard fan. It was such an intense energy from the crowd and all I saw was green and I just felt like we were in it together. As much as this show can speak to anybody, because it's about life, Rider fans get it on another level. Sutton began riding in 2011, centered around the game she loves, yes, but exploring the mindset too and how Rider fandom changed her life capturing the essence of being a fan. It does, it does. I mean, Ryder fans are, are fantastic. I love it, I think it's a great play. Uh, she does a fantastic job and uh, it's, it's extremely difficult and she pulls it off. She plays a lot of different characters uh, and you believe every one of them. Inside a small Regina theater, the play has finally come home, complete with a tailgate party. With an audience draped in green and white, save for one brave soul. It's about as special as it gets. In a role that's hardly acting, there's still a final act to be written, not on stage, but on the field. He's looking for the end zone. In that script, in this city, there's a huge supporting cast. Riders coming off a loss, though, in their most recent game, so they're tied with Calgary for first place in the West. Daryl Rummeld, although he's not here, nope. he still is. Still. His presence is strong.